I was reflecting on a teaching that my father spoke about, and this is, again, uh, over 23 years ago. And uh, he was talking about the fact that really the whole purpose of a spiritual life, and it's always to get distracted. But he said the only purpose to be spiritual, the only purpose to follow any spiritual practice is to be an individual who is awakening more and more love in his or her life and the lives of those around them. And when I share that, and I know it's true for me, it's so easy to say that, it's so easy to, to hear that. But to live it consistently is is probably the most difficult thing. It's work. It's absolute and work. it's true. Like you said, I think it's true for absolutely anything that's important, any true life lesson. It's going to be something that's going to be relatively easy, relatively simple to hear. To understand. To, and even to understand Very and accept, difficult to practice. Very, very difficult. One of my favorite... Sorry. Well, no, I think that's why a lot of people don't do it. They're like, yeah, I know that. And they actually don't take it seriously enough. Yeah, one of my favorite... Kabbalist, he's an Italian Kabbalist. He's he wrote a whole book, a very fundamental and important book. And he writes in the introduction, Quite he says, uh, Moshe Chaim Lutzato. And he said, I am not going to write anything new that you don't know in this book. He said, But because you know it so well, you don't live it. And I think this is so true, and especially again as we as we hope to be inspiring ourselves and our listeners to be growing in their relationship, growing both individually as a partner in the relationship and therefore hopefully growing their relationship. The idea of both focus and practice, what we know in our mind, what we feel in our heart and what we actually live can often be so distant from each other.